Mike Tyson, one of the most recognizable people in the world, opened a Weibo account. Now, we don't have any confirmation from Tyson's publicist, but his Weibo account is a verified Weibo account, so that the vast majority of Chinese Weibo users believe it does belong to him. Now, Tyson's first post on his Weibo was the question, who is the best fighter in China? To which Chinese Weibo users replied with a number of actors and athletes. One Weibo user also replied with Cheng Guan, which refers to China's city administrative bylaw enforcers. Tyson's Weibo account then asked, who is Cheng Guan? A tough man? I have never heard it. Weibo users then replied that Cheng Guan are the toughest people in China, utterly brutal, merciless, and made rather cheeky references to manslaughter and murder cases in China that involved Cheng Guan using excessive force. Now, Mike Tyson's Weibo post received more than 16,000 replies. So let's take a look at what people had to say. Who is Cheng Guang? Trust me, buddy, you do not want to fight against a Cheng Guang. They will stomp on your head. It is true, Mike Tyson can't beat a Cheng Guang because there are rules in boxing and the Cheng Guang fight without limitations. Cheng Guang are bullies and like bullies, they only abuse the weak. If they see Tyson, they'd run away or try to bribe him. There are no fighters in China. Chinese martial arts declined so much over the years, it's now just a show put on by actors. There are no real Chinese fighters left, not like the days of Huo Yunjia. There are lots of supposed martial arts masters in China, but they are all fakes. If they want to show off their fighting power and the power of Chinese martial arts, why don't they fight Tyson? Why are all these American celebrities opening Weibo accounts? More and more Western celebrities are starting Weibo accounts, either by themselves or, most likely, through their management. Now, some of the big-name celebrities with a presence on the Chinese Internet include Tom Cruise, whose last post was about his movie Oblivion, Justin Bieber, whose account is more like a fan page with recent Bieber news, Radiohead, whose posts consist of pencil or charcoal drawings, and Katie Holmes, Taylor Swift, Rihanna, The Rock, Emma Watson, Samuel L. Jackson, and Paris Hilton, just to name a few. But most of these accounts are either quite bare or are blatantly managed by a team, with tons of publicity pictures and posts in Chinese that mostly consist of promotional posts about their latest projects.